How to set up a business for under a thousand bucks. Can you do it? Yes, you can, according to my mate, the author, Dan Fleischman and uh, Brandon Hampton of the book, which is literally called How to Set Up Your Business for Under a Thousand Dollars. At the beginning of the book, there's a 30 point checklist. So let me just go through the checklist now and then I'll uh, talk a little bit about, um, you know, how I set up my businesses. And I usually do it for about 500 bucks, even though this is, which is under $1,000, which is awesome. All right, so here it is. The checklist is, number one, have a great idea. Number two, come up with a memorable, easy to spell, catchy business name. Number three, research the overall industry, competitors, and every detail that you can find. Number four, figure out how much it's going to cost to start and operate your business. Number five, ask your family, friends, and associates what they think about your business. Number six, determine how you will finance each stage of the business. Seven, write down an executive summary. An executive summary means basically a business plan, how you're gonna do it. Uh, Number eight, uh, write down the business plan. Number nine, register your website domain name. So you might go to GoDaddy or whatever and just register the name. Number 10, register the name spelled correctly exactly the same across all major social media platforms. Number 11, fill out the same bio on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, Snapchat, and YouTube. I'm doing a review of the book, How to Set Up Your Business for Under $1,000 by Dan Fleischman and Brandon Hampton. Number 12, file for a corporation, partnership, LLC, once you've determined legal structure. 13, do your SWOT analysis. Uh, Number 14, register a business name with your state government. Number 15, get a tax identification number. Number 16 is register for state and local taxes. 17 is open a bank account. 18, obtain business licenses and permits. Number 19, search and apply for trademark, patent, uh, and a patent on uspto.gov when applicable. Number 20 is build a website. 21, make a logo, business cards, letterhead, invoice, purchase order forms, sales sheet. 22, set up a payment processor to handle your transactions. 23 is create an accounting system. 24, search for conventions, trade shows, networking events to attend. 25, find business vendors, suppliers, service providers, potential partners. 26, look for a business mentor that can help guide you. 27, refine your pitch. 28, prepare your marketing plan. 29, scream from the mountaintops about your company to get people to support you. And then number 30 is sell, sell, sell. So there you go, there's your 30 point checklist for setting up your business. Um, And then there's another section here, which is like 20 questions uh, before starting. Um, And the questions include like, why am I starting a business? What kind of business do I want? Who is my ideal customer? What products or services will my business provide? Am I prepared to spend the time and money needed to get my business started? Uh, What differentiates my business idea and the products or services I will provide from others in the market? Where will my business be located? How many employees will I need? What type of suppliers do I need? How much money do I need to get started? Will I need to get a loan? How soon will it take before my products or services are, are available? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It keeps going. Now he, he outlines, I should say, um, things in here like how to write your executive summary, how to write a business plan, um, how to come up with a marketing plan. And then at, towards the end of the book, um, he gives you a whole lot of uh, pretty cool uh, um, apps and things that you can use to help you with your business to get signed up to certain things and design and you know get a website designed and market research and forms and surveys and web hosting and there's a cool little section in the back called resources. Uh, I've met Dan Fleischman and uh, Brandon Hampton. They're both great guys. Um, Dan Fleischman is the youngest owner of a publicly traded company in history and Brandon Hampton is the largest independent social media publisher uh, in the world. Um, So yeah, I've set up a few businesses now and I've done it all for around about 500 bucks. That's all you need. A lot of people think mistakenly that you need to like all this money, money, capital, investment, 
just to get started. No, what you wanna do is you wanna come up with an MVP, a minimum viable product. That means just do something so, 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 so small and simple that doesn't cost a lot of money and just get it out there and test it. For example, my Swannies blue light blocking glasses. Chris, uh, can you grab my uh, a pair of my Swannies for me, please? So when I first uh, designed and created my Swannies blue light blocking glasses, um, uh, I made sure that I got a minimum order, a minimum order from um, my manufacturer. Here they are here. So I didn't, I didn't spend like ten thousand dollars buying like a thousand, or thousand or two thousand units or whatever. Uh, I'm just making up numbers here, but I didn't spend $10,000 and buy 10,000 different units to try to sell and just like cross my fingers and hope for the best. Yes, we're going to sell these or geez, I hope we sell them. No, I just did a minimum order, which means initially I only purchased 300, um, uh, 300 of my Swanee's Blue Light Blocking Glasses and then I put them on Amazon and that was enough to test. Now, I was willing to blow that money um, to find out whether people would actually buy them or not. So I was willing to take that risk. Um, so just to be clear as well, I did spend more than $500 setting up buying the inventory to sell that. But the $500 that I mentioned before, the setting up the business, is everything to do with like setting up a website, getting a design, uh, and all those are kind of int intricacies. So I just want to clarify that. Um, so, uh, can you set up a business for under a thousand dollars? Yes, you can. Uh, you might have to hire like an accountant, or you know, there's th things to do with like opening bank accounts, marketing websites, GoDaddy, um, getting website domains, all that kind of stuff. Is um, and so it will cost you. It can cost you up to a thousand dollars, but in the broad scope of things, it's not much because that will end up, as you hope, making you thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars, maybe millions of dollars, maybe in the future. So. Uh, I would encourage you to check out that book. It's called uh, How to Set Up Your Business for Under $1,000. You can go to the website buythisbook.com. If you do reach out to Dan or Brandon, tell them that you saw my review of their book here, uh, either on YouTube if you're watching on YouTube or on the podcast if you're listening in. Um, and uh, yeah, go ahead and grab that book. Hey, I'm James Swanick. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to watch my next video, then click here. If you want to subscribe to this channel to get new videos, click here. And if you want to follow me on social media, like my Snapchat right here, you can see my Snap. Click on the links down there. Go on, do it now. I'll wait for you. Snapchat, Snapchat me, Snapchat.